part of North Korea. It may also be, the, the big picture here is the political transition in North Korea. Uh, Kim uh, Jong-il had a stroke last year. He has rushed into succession, his youngest son, uh, trying to do in a year what Kim Jong-il's father took 20 years to do, which was to prepare someone to take over after he had passed on. And part of that process is retracting from the outside world, sponsoring big sh shows of military strength intended to scare off the rest of the world and to sort of commemorate or set the stage for a new leadership. I think that's the primary thing that's going on. Well, here. and he also has to curry favor among the military leaders of his own country because he wants to place his son in charge. And, uh, you know, the military leaders need to feel good about that and support that, right? Excellent point, John. You're absolutely right. Uh, when Kim's father ruled uh, North Korea from 1945 on, uh, he was really his own man. He, and the military was part of the government, but he was his own man. When his son, Kim Jong-il, took over after uh, uh, Kim Il-sung's heart attack, the military began to play a more important role. And this is a society where the state slogan, the government slogan is military first. And uh, one suspects, uh, you know, it's only speculation, that after that stroke in August of last year, Perhaps the military then started to fill in the vacuum, started to exercise more influence uh, than it had before. And so I do think uh, that's at least one of the, the, the good theories out there is that the military may be playing more of a role and they may be less interested in bargaining away their military assets. Isn't there also a bit of salesmanship going on here? I mean, the North Koreans basically earn their foreign currency by selling weaponry. So by firing off some missiles and that sort of thing, aren't they saying to the Irans of the world and some of these other countries that buy from them, hey, we're still in business, the store is open? Could be, could be. Uh, people often offer that as a possibility. Uh, these missiles are, uh, again, uh, they're almost munitions. In fact, they're, they're not ballistic missiles. They're not the sort of missiles that are restricted by the UN Security Council uh, uh, sanctions resolution. So we're really talking about small stuff here. It does keep their name in the news, and it does allow them to turn to their own population and say, look, we're strong, you know, we're technologically advanced, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I think, you know, the missiles are part of what they sell. They're, they're engaged in, a, 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 in other savory businesses. Uh, but I think the main driver here is probably, as you point out, military uh, uh, influence and this succession process. All right, Jim, thanks very much for being with us. Thank you, John.